I went to school at PS225 in Brighton Beach. I really loved going to school as a child. I can remember the name of every single one of my teachers. I just loved it all. To be a teacher sounded like a wonderful thing to do. When I went to college, the biggest influence on me turned out to be my undergraduate advisor. He was a full professor in the math department, but deeply, deeply interested in education. And he shaped my entire career. I wasn't a particularly good, gifted math student. Mathematics did not come easily to me. The benefit of that was when I became a math teacher, I knew what it felt like not to know what was going on in math class, and I made the vow that none of my students would ever feel that way in my class. I started teaching right when I graduated from college in 1962, and I was so deeply influenced by my undergraduate advisor that I came to it with such excitement for helping kids make sense out of math. It occurred to me at some point that I really wanted to find out what were the kids learning, that I started turning my attention to the students to find out what they were perceiving, how they were processing the experiences that we were having. Teachers ask questions all the time, but we already know the answer and we're hoping to hear it. I learned to ask questions where I was really interested in what the student was saying. I am constantly learning more from the students that I teach, and I'm constantly trying to share that with the teachers I publish for. A friend of mine in Sausalito, where I taught and lived, was working for a company that was putting together some educational materials. Jim Robertson was the man who owned this company and said, well, how would you think about writing a book for children about math? And I said, I don't write. He said, I don't know how to write. And he sort of pokes me and coaxed me, and I did it. It's called the I Hate Mathematics book. My idea was to give kids access to mathematics so it wasn't something that was dead, dull, dry and stuck on those workbook pages. I wanted to make it come alive. I was teaching workshops for teachers and doing more of that work, specifically with an organization that was called the Learning Institute. And it was at that time that I first started spending time with my now husband, Jeffrey Sellen. And he said to me, why don't you start your own company? And I had no idea about starting a company. I was a teacher. And he said seven words. He said, go for it. It's no big deal. He was wrong. It's a big deal. I started my company, Marilyn Burns Education Associates, and the goal was to help teachers in kindergarten through eighth grade become better math teachers. I want to give them a way to truly visualize what it could be like in a classroom where children are learning mathematics, learning to make sense out of mathematics, and fully engaged. The first book that I wrote that I published through my own company was called A Collection of Math Lessons. We have more than 50 books now in print. What I remember from being in college math classes was the professor was filling up the board and I've been like taking all this stuff down. All of a sudden I'd, I'd, I'd get lost. I kept copying everything down hoping I could go back and pick up the pieces. And the only way I could pick up the pieces was to go back and start climbing up that ladder rung by rung. Well, it's the same for the kids. They fall off the ladder. They don't even know where the ladder is to start climbing. I wanted to give them that ladder. Every kid needs to know mathematics to be successful in this world. Whether they go to any of the careers that college prepares them for, everything depends on math. Math is part of the human experience. It's not something that is invented by adults to torture children. It's something which is part of the world. I still spend time in the class teaching because now, in the work that I'm doing trying to help other teachers think about teaching mathematics, I don't know how I could possibly do that work without being in touch with the students on a regular basis to understand what they need and how I can serve them. As long as there's something new that comes along that gets me interested, I'll keep working. Right now I'm working on a project that's being funded by the Gates Foundation where we're developing a web-based assessment so a teacher can sit down with a sixth grade child coming into middle school and find out how this child thinks about math, what the child knows and doesn't know, and can have the wherewithal to be able to make sure that this child can be successful in middle school and beyond. It's absolutely exciting. I'd like to see Letterman and Oprah and Lino every night do math on the show. I want to see on Broadway Math the Musical. I want to change the culture of education so that when children come to school, the first thing they do is they have a private, intimate conversation with teachers about mathematics. I want that to be a natural part of their life as they go forward. Let's go.